Like what type of equipment do you have? I'm sorry, uh, I have a for DJ. I have the Pioneer XCJRX. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like an all-in-one thing. That's pretty good. It's pretty convenient, so I don't have to take my laptop in case I ever have to stay ready to go. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, introduced to the USB sticks and stuff. You know, you know not too long ago, because you know, for a while there, it seemed like everyone was doing the whole CD DJ thing, or maybe even had a laptop, and there came the USB stick. So a little bit of an adjustment, but definitely very convenient. <laughs> I must say, because. Yeah, you know, it went from like a crate of vinyl to you know a whole wallet of CDs and analysis. Digital. Yeah, yeah. So plug and mix. I shouldn't say plug and play because we should be doing that. <laughs> Especially if you're getting paid good money, in my opinion. But you know, some people are just part of DJs. But yeah, yeah. So um, like I told you, I was just going through, and I just noticed you. Yeah, like you were all over the place, you know, not in a bad way, but in a good way, because it was just like a large variety of music, so it definitely, you know, tells me, oh, you know, this guy actually has a ear for, you know, producing and making stuff, versus, you know, just, you know, being in the corner, you know, you actually show like some, you know, creativity, so, you know, but uh, yeah, you, uh, you do audio engineering now, yeah. right? Yeah, study, I'm studying still, go to ACC. Oh, okay. Um, right now, um, I'm taking classes here and there, mm -hmm. like, not a full time. Uh, it's my first year, actually. Oh, okay. So what what spurred you in audio engineering? Uh, well, just basically, to be honest, my mom wanted me to go to college, you know, pursue something. Like, yeah, yeah. So I was just going for her. <laughs> I mean, it's preferred for education in the area that I like to be involved with. Uh, being because what it does mostly like working with audio. Yeah, uh, yeah. The first class is mostly like MIDI, MIDI class. So basically, what I do at home, like just produce. So it's pretty simple. Um, I learned some things here and there uh, when it comes to mixing, mixing audio. That's like so far what I've learned. But I, what I really want to learn is synthesis. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Jamie was telling me how you know whenever he had a. Uh, uh, Florida Studio, or, or I'm sorry, yeah, at FL Studio, he always came to you for questions, so, you know, that's cool to see that sort of camaraderie and collaboration, because, you know, you can only get better, you know, the more, you know, you know. Yeah, so, you know, so that's the program you started with, or? Yeah, I started with uh, FL Studio back in 2012. And then, like two years ago, I got to Ableton. I'm still learning the process of it, uh, and also have Pro Tools, but mm -hmm. it's just it's there basically. I just have this sitting around. So ultimately, like, what are your your producer goals? You said you were going to learn the synthesizers, yeah, or you I'm wanted to learn synthesizers. Yeah. Syn sorry, synthes synthesis. Yeah. Um, well, as a producer, I want to learn more on mixing. Also, uh, this year, what I want to work on is making EPs. Like, instead of just making just one trans track and, you know, putting it out there, I want to make three or four and then put it out there, get it out for free. Uh, mostly just keep on working on my mixes as well. Oh, cool. uh, yeah. Okay.